Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can buy your first home. So let's get to it. When you're looking into buying your first home, you have to make the decision. Is it going to be by you only or is it going to be via partnership? I would lean toward partnership because it actually is a good hedge not only for your finance but also keeps both of you honest in this partnership if it's a business partnership or if it's a marriage partnership both is a great way to mitigate both of your investments and losses why is it a good investment because as history has shown real estate prices have gone up tremendously and it rises at least 5% throughout the years. And not only is it going to be good for your investment, but also it'll tie the knot between you and your partner because you're both in this together. So once you've determined you're going to buy this with a partner, now you have to look in to the budget how much are you guys willing to pay for a home typical home or house in suburbs of long island will be a little cheaper but if you're moving towards city area big metropolitan cities such as san francisco la boston miami new york city a single family home with two bedroom and two bathroom can range from anywhere from $800,000 all the way to $2.5 million. Once you've determined the budget that works for both of you, you have to know how to negotiate with the banker. The terms that you get on your loan will determine how much can you save up during the time that you're paying towards your mortgage. Can you accelerate the payments because you have good terms? Or are you strapped paying off the loan when you're living frugally and can't enjoy life? So how do you do that? Remember, the banker wants to give you the loan. They don't want to withhold the money because they don't make money if they're just keeping all the cash in their bank account. They make money when they lend the money to individuals who are going to buy properties because they will be paying for a long, long, long period of time and that will make the bank a lot of money. So it's in their incentive to give you the loan. So once you realize that, let's make the game a little easier to play. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mae, they are quasi-governmental slash private company that gives the bank the final approval on the loan. They have made first-time homebuyers an easy loan approval process where they only need to put in 5% down payment on the property. So let's say you're buying a $1 million property. You're putting 5% down, which is $20,000. Now, putting $20,000 with you and your spouse combined, that's manageable. Next, the banker wants to see your debt to income ratio. Now, debt to income ratio doesn't take into consideration how much savings you both have. The debt to income ratio wants to see how much money you guys bring in every month. And they decide if that's enough for you to pay the loan. Now, if you guys combine both of your income and you guys don't have huge debt that you guys have to pay, like student loans, but if your student loan is not that big, it'll go through. This pro the application will still go through. But if you have a huge student loan where you have to pay over $100,000, $200,000, then it'll be difficult for the banker to prove this loan. But if you don't have that huge of a loan, combined, then it'll be easier. Then they'll look into, do you have car 
loans. And if you don't have any of these additional payments that you that you have to make, then they'll look into your total pay together, pre-tax, minus any payments that you have currently, it means loans, student loans. And now they'll add this existing mortgage on top of your other payments and see if it comes around 45% or less. If it's 45% or less, the ratio wise, then you guys get approved for the loan. But if it's not, then you have to work on reducing your other expenses and increasing your incoming cash flows, whether that is getting an extra job or opening your own business at the side, that will bring in more cash in your monthly paychecks. If that's not enough, then you have to re reconsider the, the budget of the house that you are looking into. You have to look into a smaller uh, price range. So those three things, partnership, budget, and negotiation skills will lead you to successful loan application. And remember that negotiation, it's not just about being a salesperson. It's about doing your homework and talking the banker's language, which is numbers. If you know the numbers, then the bankers know that you guys are serious and will actually work harder for you to approve your loan. So, hope those information was helpful for you guys. And please put in the comments down below what videos you guys want me to make in my next video. And also, how was your first time home buying experience? Was it nerve wracking? Was it successful? What different things that you guys did that I didn't cover in this video? Please put those down in the comments down below. And I'll check you guys in my next video. Thank you and have a nice day.